In structure modeling, sometimes we need to model some parts that actually we don't have any tool for them in Revit. At least I don't know any. One of them is the pile. This is our pile in here with all of these detail and dimension. And this is its section. So we are going to see how we can model it in Revit. This pile is kind of a foundation, at least a part of a foundation. We're going to search for it in this section, this foundation section. You can find it in a structure tab, but none of these are actually a pile and they are literally foundation. You can't use them as pile. So the only option we have in here is the family. For this, you need to go to a file and create a new family in the structural foundation. Our pile is a very simple cylinder as you can see in here and it needs only two parameters, one for its height and another one for its diameter. So we are going to use extrusion for it. I'm going to create a simple circle from the center like this and if you select it with this icon in here, you can create a dimension for it. Then you can select it and turn it into a parameter. Let's call it radius. Okay. Now hit finish. And for its height, we need to go to one of these front or left elevation. Then we need to create a reference plan in here. And again, if you select it, you can create a dimension for it and turn it into a parameter. Let's call this one height. Now I'm going to use align for aligning it with this reference plan and then lock it. Before we load it into our project, we need to select it and assign a parameter for its material. So you can either select this one structural material or create another one yourself. Okay, now click on this load into project and we have it simply in here. I'm going to put it in this part for now. Let's go to the 3D view to set it in its place. So it's on the second level, I guess. I'm going to change it to first level and let's first change its size. So its diameter is 80 centimeter. I'm going to change its radius to 40 and its height as we have in this part is two meters. So I'm going to change this one to two. Okay. Now let's say the top of the foundation is exactly in the zero in the ground level. So the only thing you need to do to move this one down, you need to just enter the height to this part. So I'm going to enter minus two meter in here and it's exactly in its place. So if we go to one of these view, you see that it's in here. The next part is to put this steel call, this double IPE inside this pile for this we are going to go to the first level and in here we need to select one of the columns in this section so i'm going to just select a random ip let's go with this one and i'm going to put it exactly in the center and we face this warning it simply says that if you put a still column on top of this pile this will happen and this is not what we need. Even if we change the base offset of this column to, for example, minus one, we will see the warning again. An attached structural foundation will be moved to the bottom of the column. Therefore, at least with this way, we can't insert a steel column inside the pile. We searched for a solution for this problem and actually my colleague come up with the idea. So instead of using a family foundation for a pile, we are going to go to the first level and use a comb, a concrete comb. You can either create it yourself or use one of the families that we have in Revit. I'm going to again put it exactly in this center. Now we need to select it and go to the edit type in here. Let's change it to 80 centimeter because I think, well, this is a diameter, not a radius. Okay, and if we go to the 3D view, we will have it exactly in this part. Again, I'm going to select it and change its base offset to minus two. Perfect. And now if we go to the first level, 
you can actually put a steel column and IPE in here on top of it and now if we go back to the 3D view we can see that it's exactly inside the call now I'm going to select it and change its base offset to minus 1.5 exactly the size of it in here and for the top part since we don't have any information in here we have it in this part but we don't have anything in here I'm going to simply put it on 3 perfect and now the problem is perfectly solved now we can continue with setting the exact size of this double IPE for this steel column 2 and after that we can continue with adding all of these rebars but you might face another challenge while you want to put this spiral rebar for your pile let me fix it too so if you go to the first level and select your pile you can set rebars from this part press ok if you click on this part you can see all of the different types of rebars that we have for this pile we need a spiral rebar so if you scroll down you can find it in here so if you select it and hover your mouse over your pile you can see that you can't actually set it in here no matter if you change the placement to one of these you can set it in here instead of using this one we are going to put one of these rebars in here these simple circular rebars i'm going to simply put it in here and now if we go to the 3d view it's something like this now that we put it in its place we can select it and change it to this one now as other rebars you can simply select it and change its setting according to your documents. So yes that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!